Hunters, it's Josh from PsychoHunters.com, and check this out. Yeah, look at that. This is a 2006 Kawasaki 800 Drifter. Now, looking at this right off the bat, you would never know it because there's no real markings on it. But this does sort of look like a 1940s Indian. The only markings are really right there. So somebody that's looking for something super nostalgic, really cool, an excellent stylistic ride. And as we get into this, you'll see it right down to the exhaust tips. Kind of that modified fishtail looking exhaust. This is definitely the bike for you. So as you get into this, very, very few blemishes around here. The bike is in awesome shape. It's a beautiful machine. I mean, the black and the silver and the red pinstriping, as you can see, it just sets this bike off. It is a mid-range cruiser, so it is not a heavy bike at all. It does look heavy, but it is definitely not. These are balanced extremely well. These are liquid-cooled 805cc motors. You're going to have enough power. Pretty much go wherever you want to go. And again, you're doing it in style. It totally looks like the Indian old Indian Chiefs with the big skirted fairings like that. So the drifter models out there, this is kind of their thing, is to look just like an Indian. Now, uh, as we get into this, you can see barns are nice. Paint is really great, really great shape very few little surface scratches you got to really get up on it to see that kind of stuff though you can see in the motor very clean in the motor this has floorboards so it also has the uh, heel toe shifter nice chrome rim spoke chrome rim liquid cooled there's the little horn right there has some deer whistles on the front of it too this is absolutely a bike that without question you go into your garage jump on it fire it up get going down the road just put put on your favorite tunes maybe on your bluetooth and go have fun yeah look at the, that that exhaust tip is just cool looking you don't really see a lot of design in terms of uh, exhaust on bikes. This is one of the few that actually do have some of that design element from a factory. Now you can see there's a little bit of a scuffing right back here. It's not much. It's hard to tell. But again, as you get around into this, you can see it's in really great shape. Tough to see under here, but... It's chain driven you know again this is a mid-range sized bike probably the upper range of the mid-range now it's considered thousand cc bikes or mid-range where you know you can go upwards all the way up to uh 2000 cc's heck 2300 cc's on a triumph rocket 3 but talking about these mid-range bikes they're great because if you wanted something that's sort of in between but you'll want a full-size looking cruiser without all the weight and the heft this is the bike or any of the bikes in this size range you can see again paint wise really really nice paint right here's the choke this is carbureted uh, you can see this bike has 11,151 miles on it so not a ton for the year, that's for sure. Here's your left blinker. Left front, now left rear. Oh, it just looks good from the back end. I love it when these companies make stuff that it's got some extra style going on instead of just a round exhaust. Look at that. Looks so good. Right front. Put 
push in. It's your horn, it's your kill, it's your high beam and low beam, which I believe the bike's going to need to be on for that. I'll turn this BB on here in a second, over here, which I bet I have to pull in the clutch for this. So I got to do this two handed here. There we go. Chokes out a little bit there. There we go. So high beam, low beam, high beam. And it's relatively quiet. It's not ri ridiculous or obnoxious. Again, it's all stock machine. We're going to go rear brake on the foot. At your foot. At your hand brake. Motor's got some girth to it. It sounds like it's got some beef and some heft. Oh, I mean, it's just a beautiful bike. For you cruiser guys out there that are just looking, like I said, for something to jump on, go rip around on, have fun, bar hop, whatever, this is a really great looking machine. Here's your ignition down here by your left leg. You know, your heel toe shifter. Battery tender lead. All of our bikes have a battery tender lead on them. It's a 48 point checklist that we use to go over these to make sure that when you get the bike, it's as close to 100% as we can make it from when it was brand new. They're all used bikes. But again, we do our best to make sure that when you get it, it's as it's best foot forward as, as best as we can make it. If the bike needs it, it gets it. Oil and filter are basic for us. Uh, we're checking the charging system. Oh, coolant levels, any of that stuff, fluid levels, brake, pads, any of that stuff. We really, like I said, we try to make them as best as we can going out the door. Well, you could stand there and walk around this thing all day because it's just a great looking machine. It's a really cool looking bike. And again, super lightweight, jump on it, thumb the starter, let it warm up for a couple minutes, put it in gear, get going down the road. That is absolutely what this bike is all about. So we offer financing. Uh, we have aftermarket warranties available. You know, we can ship bikes. Uh, we deliver bikes in some cases. Just, oh yeah, this is a good looking machine. <laughs> if you're a bike lover, like me, you just kind of sit in awe it's some of the things that are created. And that's just a great looking bike. I The nostalgic look does it for me. I really like that. It's just beautiful. And I know you're going to be happy with it too. So if you are digging the 2006 Kawasaki Drifter 800, give us a call. 717-273-1809. The full list of inventory is available online at www.cyclehunters.com. If you need to send us an email at cyclehunters at gmail.com. And uh, you can get in touch with us if you have questions, anything that you're looking to do. If you're looking for something specific, let us know. We can try to hunt you something down. But as for this 2006 Kawasaki Drifter 800, it is available for purchase. Yeah. And somebody's going to have a real fun, fun bike, that's for sure. Well, I hope you like it. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I want to thank anybody, all you guys, for subscribing in the comments that I get. I really do appreciate it. This is a labor of love. So, riders, until the next bike, happy riding.